Welcome to this Football Manager 2016 experiment involving Bayern Munich and Dortmund and the English Premier League. What I have done is I've put Bayern Munich and Dortmund into the English Premier League. I've swapped them with Newcastle and Aston Villa. I decided to do a random pick of two English teams to remove. They've been moved into the German First Division, into the Bundesliga. And we're going to see how Bayern Munich and Dortmund do over a, a few years. See if one of them can win the league or both of them can win the league and see if they can dominate in English football or will they be completely overpowered by some of the, the giants of England. We'll see and then we'll have a look to see if Newcastle and Aston Villa have, have managed to do quite well in Germany. As always please hit that like button if you think this is a good idea and if you enjoy the experiment and also subscribe to my channel if you're new as well. I do lots of uh, experiments and let's plays and that sort of thing and I'm actually doing a Bayern Munich let's play at the moment so maybe you want to check that out. Anyway I'm going to holiday one year and we'll look at that li that uh, season in detail and then after that I'm going to holiday a further five years to see how both Bayern Munich and Dortmund get on. So I've holidayed to the end of the first season and as you can see here Chelsea won the league. Bayern Munich were considered to be favourites for the league prior to the season starting and they were very close to winning it, only one point behind Chelsea. You can see that incredibly close title race between the top four teams, only two points between Chelsea and fourth place Arsenal, Arsenal finishing fourth of course. Uh, Dortmund finished seventh, so not such a great season for them, they've qualified for the Europa League but they finished above Man United and Liverpool interestingly, Man United having a very poor season, down in eighth place, Sunderland, Norwich and Bournemouth relegated, you can see Philip Lahm top average rating 8.0 and David Alaba 7.79 finishing third, uh, Lahm also got the most man of the matches and Neuer kept the most clean sheets way above anyone else with 20 clean sheets, they're very unlucky not to win it. Looking at this in detail, they only lost four games all season against Liverpool, Arsenal, Leicester and Dortmund. Yeah, Dortmund got one up on them there. I don't know how things like travelling, going, the players having to travel by plane a lot between Germany and England. I'm not sure the algorithms involved in Football Manager, whether that has an impact on players or teams. I, I have no idea. Uh, maybe someone can let me know in the comment section below if you do know. Either way, it was a successful first season for Bayern, an okay season for Dortmund. Let's have a look at Bayern in a bit more detail then, have a look at the players. You can see here it's decided not to sort, but the top scorer was Lewandowski with 34 goals and the most assists was actually from Müller who got 15 assists and three, uh, 10 goals this season. So decent season for them. Let's have a look at their schedule to see how they did in, they did actually play in the German Cup as well, and the Capital One Cup, and the FA Cup, so they're still registered for the German Cup, maybe that's my error with the uh, editor, which may have had an impact on their schedule, they'd have been playing a hell of, hell of a lot of games, and perhaps that is maybe a reason why they didn't win uh, the Premier League, they played the German Cup final, beat Gladbach 3-0 in the final. Champions League, they got through to the semi-final but lost against eventual winners Barcelona who beat Real Madrid in a thrilling 3-2 final. And the FA Cup, they lost against Arsenal in the in the semi-final. Where's it gone? It's gone back up here. Yes, semi-final of the FA Cup. They lost. The winners were Arsenal for the third season in a row. They beat Man United in the final 3-1. Capital One Cup, I think they did okay. They managed to get through to, they did get through to the final, didn't they? They lost 2-0 against Spurs, though, in the final. Have a look at that. Ryan Mason and Dembele with the winners. So Dortmund, let's have a look at them. They finished seventh. Let's have a look at how their players performed. Top goal scorer, Aubameyang, with 30 goals. And they, they also played a hell of a lot of games because they also had to play in the German Cup as well. That's an error on my part. I thought it automatically removed them from the German Cup when you move, when you move them to a different country, but obviously that is not the case. You can see Mats Hamill's 18 man of the matches this season. Unbelievable from him. That really is quite a quite a feat. This is their schedule then. See how they got on. Euro Cup, they obviously played in that this season. And we can go down the list to see how they got on. You can see some individual results if you're interested. So FA Cup, they got through. I think they lost in the Capital One Cup quarter final against Norwich there, a bit disappointing. FA Cup wise they got through to the fifth round but lost against Liverpool, that's quite ironic. Jurgen Klopp defeating Dortmund in the Capital One Cup and lastly I think Jurgen Klopp's manager of Liverpool anyway. No he's not. FA Cup so they lost against Liverpool, German Cup 
they got through to the semi-final before losing to Gladbach. And Euro Cup, they lost in the second knockout round against Fenerbahce. So I'm going to holiday another four seasons, I think, to 2020. And we will see how both Bayern Munich and Dortmund do over that time. So here we go, it's 2020. I'm sure some of you are interested to see how Newcastle and Aston Villa have got on in Germany as well. We'll have a look at that at the end. But Bayern Munich have managed to win a title. This is the first title they've managed to win, 2019-20 season. Chelsea won it four seasons in a row, three seasons in a row on this save, before Man City won it in 2019. But Bayern Munich finally successful, one point ahead of Man City and Man United. Another very close title race here. Winning with 80 points, actually lost eight games, double what they managed in the first season. Dortmund down in, in 11th place. Wow. Let's just go back in time then, see how they got on. So that's the first season. Second season, Bayern down in seventh, Dortmund in eighth. Really poor season, especially for Bayern Munich, but Dortmund, you know, struggling in England. Then in 2018, uh, where's, where's Bayern Munich? Oh, they finished second. 85 points, Chelsea completely ran away with that one. Dortmund in 8th place again. This is the highest place finish for Dortmund. 6th place, Bayern Munich managed to get the 4th Champions League qualifying stage as well. And then this season, Bayern Munich won. Not completely convincingly, but they scraped over the line. And Dortmund down in 11th, really poor season for them. Let's just have a look at some of the stats. You can see Muller, top scorer of 27 goals in the league. Rondon's done very well on this actually. I noticed he was top scorer in the first season. You can see some other details here if you're interested but let's go to Bayern Munich C who's in charge they've got Allegri in charge Neuer's still the captain Jerome Boateng is the key player phenomenal centre back and this is what's happened this season Lewandowski 26 goals but this guy Thomas Muller top scorer with 32 uh, assists why I don't know why this is sorting weirdly I do apologize it's not really my fault you can see they've signed Emre Chan. We'll have a look at the transfers, actually. I'm just flitting and floating between things. Oh, they spent a hell of a lot of money this year. Look at that. 30 million on Nukari from Inter Milan. 21 million on Anthony Martial. Oh, Carvajal, Joe Gomez going to, to Bayern Munich as well, an Englishman. Looks like a good player on this. And they sold quite a lot of players as well looking at this 20 million Vieto let's go back just to see who they've signed over the years they've spent lots of money every year they signed Emre Chan from Dortmund so he must have gone from Liverpool to Dortmund and then Man City uh, not Man City Bayern Munich signed him and then the previous year they spent 200 million they spent so much money on this they oh to be fair they sold 188 million pounds worth of players so they've been buying and selling huge amounts of players for lots and lots of money but not necessarily spending a net ma uh, you know a massive net amount of money looking at it okay let's go to Dortmund then they've got Louis Enrique in charge they've got Memphis Depay in their team and they still finish down in 11th place oh, how many players have they got this team is huge what oh, I've clicked on numbers that's why there we go that's better that included all the, the young players there so top scorer this season only 13 goals Gabbiadini Assists wise, this is irritating. Come on, work. Work, you stupid thing. Oh, th no, that's not right. That's not mended. Chris Dante, most assists, I think. Wait, let me look across. Yep, that's him. So, yeah, very poor season. You can see they've got T Chilemans, an amazing wonder kid on the game. They've signed Marcelo, Venetia, Chesney's there, Voland, Gaviadini. They've got some good players, but they're really under achievement, achieving. I don't know if that's because they're still playing in the German Cup. No, they're not. So that's been removed. It was only the first season they played in the German Cup, fortunately. So that's good. Bayern and Dortmund are now just playing English competitions and European competitions. Let's have a look at the Euro Cup, see if any of them managed to win this. No, they didn't. Dortmund finished second to Spurs in 2017. Champions League-wise, Barcelona have dominated. They've won three times in this experiment, four out of the last seven no six years can't count Spurs and Man City have won the Champions League though Real Madrid have finished second three times Atletico finished second twice as well but no Bayern or Dortmund featuring at all on this so this is the FA Cup we can see here Bayern and Dortmund were unsuccessful as well pretty traditional FA Cup winning teams there let's go down to the League Cup 
which once again no Bayern or Dortmund Bayern finished twi uh, second twice runners up twice to Spurs and Man City which is unfortunate to go down Community Shield Johnson Spink Trophy obviously won't feature in that but I was wondering about youth level are they even included here Bayern, yeah Bayern under 21s are there and Dortmund under 21s they're in the south division because yeah I wonder, wonder how that worked with ge geographically obviously they're in Germany so that must have been a bit of a, a strange one for the game to decide. Right then, we're in Germany. You can see Aston Villa are still in the top division, as are Newcastle. So they've both survived each time. But let's go back in time to see how they got on each season. So the first season, Newcastle finished up in second place behind Leverkusen, who won the league. Only five points behind. Wow, amazing first season for Newcastle. Aston Villa down in 11th place. Not so good, but at least they survived compared to real life, which is where it looks like they're just doomed. Uh, then in the second season, Newcastle finished fourth, and Aston Villa actually got relegated down to the second division. In the third season, Newcastle were just doing really well. Fourth place, and in second division, Aston Villa, let's go back, were champions. So they, they were successful at getting promoted again. And then in the fourth season, Newcastle finished fifth, and Aston Villa finished 13th. And... This season, just gone, Aston Villa down in 14th place and Newcastle up in 8th. So they've they've dropped off Newcastle, have, and Aston Villa have stayed about the same. They've, they've got relegated, they've come back. This is Newcastle United, if you're interested, looking at some of the players. Oh, I can sort sort by position. They've got a real... That, that is a big team. I'm on the actual players here, and that is one huge team. They've got a lot of players out on loan, to be fair. That is a big old team. So you can have a look at those players if you're interested. We need to look at the uh, the cup as well, see if they've managed to win that. But let's just look at Aston Villa first. They've got David Bergner in charge. Ashley Westwood, the captain, and Jack Grealish is their key player. Let's have a look at him. Three caps and one goal for England at the age of 24. And this is the Aston Villa team, which is also very big. Not sure why that is the case. They've got four goalkeepers. Why is their team so big? It's really weird. Anyway, let's look at the German Cup. Let's go down to the German Cup, which in recent years, we saw Bayern win it in that first year, remember? Oh, they did play in the second one as well. But then they're not included in the last couple, which is strange. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but Newcastle nor Aston Villa featured in this one. The Super Cup, I don't think they're featuring that anyway. So under 21s, we've got Newcastle finishing runners up. As have Aston Villa in, in the German under-19s Group 1. Thought I'd just have a quick look at the World Cup. You can see here, England won the World Cup final against Australia. Wow, that's a, an interesting finalist there. But England are successful at winning the World Cup. I don't know if Bayern Munich and Dortmund have had any impact on the, the national team. I wouldn't really have thought so. I think they, they've both had some of the English players in their team. But they've not really had an impact. Germany haven't managed to win the World Cup. Anyway, uh, let's look at the European Championship, which was won by Portugal. They beat Italy in the final, so no Germany or England there. So that's basically the end of this experiment. I've holidayed a few years, we've seen Bayern Munich eventually win the league, and Dortmund haven't been so, so successful. So leave your thoughts in the comment section below about this experiment. Obviously, take this with a pinch of salt. It's an experiment on Football Manager. Don't treat it as real life. Some people just comment thinking, you know, why have you done this, Paul? What, like, it is just an experiment. It's a bit of fun and seeing how Bayern Munich and Dortmund would do on in the Premier League on the game. You can let me know your thoughts on what would happen in real life if they were included in, in the Premier League. Of course, you're welcome to do that in the comment section below, just for hypothetical reasons and a bit of fun. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It'd be much appreciated. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you very soon.